gel place. But right now, what I'm looking at is the green. Elevate with quartz. It's from the Cruzetto mine. Mine is yeah, that's Brazil. And I took them, took some pictures of it. And the this is where the quartz is, and all of the different gems and stuff is. You know, different types of rocks and stuff. You know, and all and against this wall here, they have gems. And it's kind of dark in here, but you know, they also had you know, systematic mineralogy sulfides and many, many, many different gems and stuff. This is native gold on quartz, there's native gold on calcite, and this native gold itself. And this is what native gold on quartz looks like, native gold bar. Right, lead, things like this. And this is what they have inside of the Natural History Museum. Also, you know, is this is an iron meteorite right here, and this is diamond. And this diamond. Carbon. It is from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And this is on So if it's from the Congo, I believe that it's probably from Africa. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, now I'm over here about a gold. It says gold, the noblest of metals, and this is where they have, it's still in the same area where all the uh, rocks and the gemstones is. And this is the exhibit that they have for the gold. And then that's the pyrite right there. It's called Fool's Gold, right there.
legs, all that. Then there's some books on mining and gold organization of gold mining business, the mine examiner, bird purchase companion, and all of that. There's, you know, people who be going up on the ground, who, who people who was miners and stuff who were taking, you know, find the gold or whatever it is in California. So, this is the last video I'm going to make here. Um, where you get a chance to see. Exhibit, then you don't learn as much as you feel it. And this is it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, so now I'm finished. I just came into the hall here and I took a picture as much as possible. I tried to get a picture of some of the elephants, but they're gonna have a party for Halloween. So I got as many pictures as I possibly can in this hall. And this is the hall where all the African mammals are. So yeah, I, I got some pictures of quite a few. I got a picture of the Arabian Oryx and pretty much everything in here including finishing getting pictures of the hippopotamus amphibious also right here too so i took as many pictures as i possibly could of everything that's in this hall and i mean everything and i also want you to get a get a chance to see a video the ostrich and also hey, the the panthera leo the lion yeah king of the mountains and the plains and sometimes some parts of the jungle the, that's, that's them and that's the exhibit thank you don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you Okay, okay, um, now I'm in the hall for the dinosaurs, and you can see on the wall they have all kind of different bones and stuff. There's the bones and teeth of dinosaurs, there's skin feathers and bristles of dinosaurs on their wall. They have eggs and nests that's fossilized on their walls. They have footprints and trackways of dinosaurs on their wall, teeth and jaws of them on their wall, proper lights, fossilized poop of dinosaurs on their wall, and bones to be able to identify dinosaurs. Microlites, microsites, and all these different things and from different fossil bones. This is a dinosaur that they have. Uh, where they put it back together. You can see like the plastic and the screws and the hinges or something that have it pulled like that. But it's a dinosaur fossils. Stuff. And then this one is way above my head. Sorry. It's going to make my head because it's so big. It's so tall. It's up there. That's the head. And then it's coming down. And then that's the neck. This is very interesting. Okay. And I'm just coming down, 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 down. And then these are the other smaller ones. But this one right here is like, oh my God. Amazingly big, and then it's another one. This right behind it, and I 
it. I believe this is some type of dinosaur. I don't know if it swam or what it do, but uh, that's one too. My arm is starting to hurt because it's up so long. It's just like, this is it. Okay, this is the hall of the dinosaurs and all of these, you know, fossilized bones that they have in dirt. You know, but this is it. It said, what was their world like? So if you went back to the age of dinosaurs, you find an unfamiliar scene. The climate was warmer and the continents were locked together as one. You see reptiles flying in the air and swimming in the seas. And on land, you'll find the dinosaurs in an incredible variety of shapes and sizes. And this is, this is, this is one over my head also. And I don't know if it swim or what it do, but that's literally, uh, this is in the Natural History Museum. I'm in Dinosaur Hall. Also, this is some other fossilized things that they have up in here also. So I got some pictures of some really big fish. I got some pictures of uh, some fossilized things um, and dirt and all of that. This is a, uh, yeah, very interesting. You know, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, this, this is the exhibit. So, you know, if you're a person who would like to know about dinosaurs and you want to uh, bring your children to the Natural History Museum, then they have something for you. It says, what lived in the dinosaurs world? They talk about 251 to 200 million years ago. They had the Triassic era. The 200 to 145 million years ago was the Jurassic era. And from the 140, uh, 145 to 65 million years ago was the Crustaceous era. And this is a lot of stuff that they have from, you know, in their exhibits and all of that. So, um, I hope you enjoy it and enjoy our watching. And some, some very interesting things that they have. So, yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed it. I'm in here with a whole lot of people. I know it's a lot of talking, but this is it. So, yeah. That's how huge, I mean, that's a long, real long dinosaur neck way over on the other side of the museum. So, it's a lot. I mean, it's, 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 it's much. These are real, real, real huge animals, and these are the skeletons of them. Last time I showed the video of the whale, and this skeleton, but uh, yeah, this is it. And then the last thing I want to read is over here. It says, from enormous low necks to creatures as tiny as human birds, dinosaurs have had an amazing variety of forms and lifestyles. And this is this whole mural that's here on the side of the wall while I'm walking out and while I'm leaving. Yeah, of, you know, the dinosaurs and they real low necks. All of that, so yeah, from just the angle here, all the way through, and we're on to the other side. Of, yeah. Of it. Yeah. This is it. I'll take some extra time out too. I guess it's a tri. They call it. I think it's called a triceratops. And that's it. If it's a spider, no. You see me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Hope y'all just uh, enjoy Dinosaur Hall. This is it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and happy Halloween, everybody. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye bye.